Section 8.1.27-T using technology, the acceptable level for insect filth in a certain food item is six insect fragments, larva, eggs, body parts, and so on, per 10 grams. A simple random sample of 70 10 gram portions of the food item is obtained and results in a sample mean of X bar is equal to 6.5 insects insect fragments per 10 gram portion. We want to complete parts A through C below. Now, why is the sampling distribution of the sample mean approximately normal? Okay, well, let's talk about this. So if a random variable X is normally distributed, the distribution of the sample mean is normally distributed. So this, if the sample size is large enough, where n is greater than or equal to 30, the sampling distribution is approximately normal regardless of the shape of the population. So we can look at the sample size, which is 20, I mean, excuse me, 70. So the sample size is greater than 30. Therefore, the sampling distribution of the sample mean is approximately normal. Okay, now in part B, it says, what is the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean, assuming that the population mean is 6, and the standard deviation, the population standard deviation is the square root of 6. Okay, so first thing is first, we know that the mean of the sample means is going to be the mean of the population, which is equal to 6. And then if we want to find the standard deviation of the sample means, well, that's equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So what do we know? We know that the population standard deviation is the square root of 6. And we also know that the sample size is 70. So we want to find out what is the square root of 6 divided by the square root of 70. Well, that gives us approximately 0 0.293 for the standard deviation of the sample means. Okay, now let's take a look at part C. At part C, it says, what is the probability a simple random sample of 70 10 gram portions of the food item results in a mean of at least 6.5 insect fragments? Is this result unusual? And what might we conclude? Okay, so we're looking for at least 6.5. So what we're looking for is what is the probability that the value of x is going to be greater than or equal to 6.5. So if we look at our bell curve, okay, we know that our mean is 6 and we know that the value that we're looking for has to be greater than 6.5. So we're looking for that probability. So since we're looking for that probability and we're using technology, okay, what we can do is the following. We can take the normal CDF we know that our lower bound is 6.5. We know that our upper bound is 9999. And we know that our mean from part B is 6. And we know the standard deviation of the sample means is 0 0.293. So using a calculator, let's determine what that is. So we're going to take second distribution of normal CDF. We know our lower bound is 6.5. We know our upper bound is 9999. We know that our mean is 6 and our standard deviation is 0.293. Okay, so therefore there is our probability. Let me copy that better here. Okay, so we want to round this to the fourth be decimal place, which means we need to round this and then round this. So therefore, we're going to get 0 0.0440 as our probability. Okay, now before we do anything, let's go ahead and check it on uh, 
stack crunch. So we know that our mean is 6, and we know that our standard deviation is 0 0.293. And we're looking for the fact that x is going to be greater than 6.5, <clears throat> excuse me. And so therefore we get the same area there. So therefore there is our result. So we found the probability, is this result unusual and what might we conclude? Okay, well, what we can say is, is that a result considered unusual if the probability of it occurring is less than 5%. Well, we can see here that this is 0 0.04, which is about 4%. The probability, a simple random sample of 70 10 gram portions of the food item results in a mean of at least 6.5 insects fragments is less than 5%. So if a result is unusual, it is reasonable to believe that the assumed mean is not correct. Otherwise, it is not reasonable to believe that the assumed mean is not correct. Now, in this case, it is reasonable to believe that the mean is greater than 6 because the probability of obtaining a sample mean of 6.5 is less than 5%.